Hey guys, it's Ping, and we're out here today at Kawea Creek Raceway. We've got a cool test we wanted to share with you. So we've got our 2021 Gas Gas 250, and we brought it over to Laner Suspension and had those guys install their brand new shock and fork. And this is a, a product that he's been working on for years. Uh, we've actually tried the shock before on a previous bike and really liked it. So he's got this fork that he's, he's built, and uh, these are completely handmade, hand set up and valved all by, by Walter Laner. And um, we wanted to give it a buzz. So if you go over to their website, lanersuspension-usa.com, uh, you can have a look at all this stuff, but it's the Impact Shock Absorber, which uh, retails for 1780. The Epica Works Fork, which a complete fork, retails for 3990. Or you can get the Epica Cartridge that is just an air fork drop-in, replaces the air system with a spring setup, and that's 1850. Uh, no springs included in those, in those pricings, so just so you have an idea. But there's a lot of people that don't like that air fork. I'm one of them. I, it, it works great as far as air forks go, but I just, I've never liked the inconsistency. Uh, as you ride it more, the air pressure builds up. It's changing your spring rate on you. So I'm a spring fan, and I wanted to see how this whole setup worked. So I get asked all the time, hey, I'm thinking about buying this fork or this shock or whatever, the, the, the cone valve or the Shoei kit. And I tell people, look, the most important component to getting your bike handling well is having somebody that knows what they're doing help you set it up. It isn't how much money you can buy or what, you know, you could get the suspension right off of Eli Tomac's bike. It's going to suck unless somebody sets it up for you. My point is if, if you don't have someone to come out and help you sort of troubleshoot it and get it really set up for you, you know, you, you would have been disappointed with the way it worked just as they got it. So when we started, again, as I said, it was just a little bit uh, stink bug and we tried firming the forks up and he's got actually pretty cool knobs on there where you can adjust compression, rebound, and also uh, spring tension. So you can put a little bit of preload on the fork spring. Same with the shock, uh, which is a feature that, that most forks and shocks don't have. So it's a nice little additional adjustment. But even with extra pre preload on that fork, firming it up a bit, it was just still being overpowered. And I said, I feel like the back end isn't working. Let's go to that lighter spring. And uh, immediately it was better. It was, for one, balanced perfectly now, really moved through the bumps and absorbed them well, very straight and breaking bumps or, or any kind of sweeping turns with chatter. Super planted, I, I mean, it, I came in from that. We softened the fork back up rather because I had firmed it for the original spring and we just left it, went back out. <clears throat> so we took this, the, basically the initial settings, you know, back down on the fork to where we were, softened it up a bit and took a little bit of that preload off and it was, it was great. Uh, I had absolutely zero complaints here. Obviously, if you're gonna set something up to go racing, you wanna go to multiple tracks and different types of dirt things. But for one day out here, I'm, I'm leaving here today going, that's really good stuff. Very, very fun. It is, it's pretty neat. He goes through every little part of these forks and uh, it's, it's his proprietary valving setup and all the parts inside, very high quality. You know, a lot of times <clears throat> people don't know this, but if you buy a Showa A kit, it's just production valving inside. It's, you're getting better componentry kind of on the outside and some of the coatings, but a lot of that inside shim stack, what makes works bikes, you know, factory bikes work so well is they use uh, just higher quality shims and, and components inside that have less friction. They're, they're uh, you know, honed out to a more exact standard. Laner also has a, a polished spring inside of these if you want it. Uh, today we just had the standard one because he didn't have any in stock, but that polished spring also reduces friction. So there's a lot of little things that he can do uh, to really improve the performance of these things. And today I was thrilled with it. Like I said, we just made, it was really about getting that spring rate right. And once I had that on, I didn't touch the shock. You could, like I said, we maybe go to another track and I might want to soften it up a touch or maybe rebound one in, one slower, one faster. But today it was great. So really impressed. This, uh, this Epica fork, uh, like I said, it's a complete fork system and pretty nice. It's on par in terms of if you want, we're looking at a cone valve or show an A kit or something like that. It's, it's right there in the ballpark. And it's like I told him, I said, in a perfect world, man, you, if someone bought this setup, you would include it with a day of him coming out and helping you get it set up for you. Because that's the value. That's where 
you really find the difference. As a guy that knows what he's looking at, kind of can take what you're saying and translate that into, okay, I, I, know, I hear what you're saying. I think I'm, I can see what you're talking about. Let me change this. You kind of have to work together as a team. And um, some people are better at that than others. And, you know, that's where the value is anyway, is trying to get those folks that know what they're doing to help you get it set up. So we're stoked today. You guys can get over to their website and check out Laner's this obviously works for Husky, KTM, Gas Gas. Uh, he's in the process of making this for Japanese models as well, so keep an eye out for that. But uh, right now, if, you've, if you're looking to get away from that air fork in particular, uh, he's got two options, the cartridge that drops in, or you can buy the whole fork. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, super competitive with anything else that's out there. And uh, like I said, with his touches of setting up today, really, really happy with it. So we appreciate Laner Suspension coming out with us. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.